This is the world's first bourbon barrel bow tie exhibit. It's called Bow Tie Together. But the real story here is about the veteran that creates the bow tie out of bourbon barrels and how they come together with the artists that create wearable art. I'm Morgan Hancock and I'm the founder and director of Bourbon With Art. So the reason that we decided to do a bourbon barrel bow tie exhibit is one, it's derby and bow ties are a big part of derby. And also because you've seen wooden bow ties, um, but no one has ever made bourbon barrel bow ties. And I just couldn't believe that. And so it turned out that I has connected with a group of military veterans who are also woodworkers. They found that woodworking really helps their PTSD. And they use bourbon barrels for their woodworking. So of course I called on them and said, hey, what do you think about making some wooden bow ties out of bourbon? Girls, and they said, let's do it. To be part of this bourbon with heart um, display for the bow tie um, events that are and the pieces that are around here is really a pleasure for me to be able to combine my passion for veterans and my artistic talent. Well, Morgan and I, of course, who spearheaded this entire initiative, um, had worked together. She's a veteran, and so I had done a story on her, and when it just came to my attention that she was doing this wonderful bow tie art exhibit, and she was collecting all of these artists and the money was going to charity. I just thought, you know, I could participate in this. And I love the fact that all the artists were given the same background, the same piece of wood frame, but we had no restrictions and no regulations about what we could or couldn't do. So when people come to see this exhibit, I hope that, you know, they see a piece of themselves in it, whether it's in the design, whether it's in the artist and their story, um, because it was important to us to have artists from all different walks of life and all different skill sets and also you know that they that they see and they they think about and they appreciate and they remember the service of the veterans i did know i wanted one of my pieces to be a veteran centric piece just to go along with the cruise custom flag and bow tie uh, piece and then i also wanted my other piece to reflect my fashion illustration um, history as well so i feel like i got both heathers <laughs> in there together um, quite nicely. The veterans piece specifically, I knew I wanted something personal, and of course I always like to try to highlight unknown stories, if I can, for veterans and military families. So here in Louisville, um, there's a family who actually is part of my dad's history in Vietnam. My dad was wounded on December 27th, 1967 in Operation Badger Tooth, which actually that full operation was from mid-1967 to mid-1968. But my father was injured specifically on December 27th, 1967. And I knew I wanted to highlight the men who died that day because they're all on panel 32E on Vietnam Memorial. But when I did a bit more digging into Operation Badger Tooth, I didn't want to leave out anyone else that had passed away during that time. And that also included my dad's best friend, Charlie Smith. So Charlie and dad went through boot camp together. Charlie's from here in Louisville. His family is still here in Louisville. Charlie uh, sadly passed away on February 28, 1968, and through the story of finding out about his death and my father's own emotional struggle coming to terms with the fact that Charlie passed away, I knew I wanted to highlight Charlie within that as well, and I love the fact that his family, we have all become great friends. I actually hand wrote each name, their rank, and the wall number and line number of where they are on the Vietnam Memorial, because too often often we are not recognizing each one of these individuals who have given the ultimate sacrifice. When Morgan approached us with the opportunity to work with local veterans and local artists uh, with a charitable component, it was, it was a really easy answer. It's our culture, it's who we are, and uh, we are authentic Louisville. When our founder, Mr. Sneeder, built this hotel, it was important for him to build the hotel for Louisville, and he's always been real involved in giving back to the community. And so to see the uh, bow ties that are really popular, made out of bourbon barrels, um, and get to see our local artists, it's, uh, it's a display that they'll leave with and they'll take back with them. I got really emotional sitting in my studio. It brought up all these emotions in me of, wow, we're actually able to do projects like this because 
men and women have sacrificed their entire lives to be able to afford us these freedoms. I wanted to resonate more about why we're here, how we are here, and their military service needs to be remembered. And Derby is such a fun, splashy time. We love it. It's, you know, we party for two weeks for a two minute race, certainly. But when you think about being able to be here to celebrate that two weeks, I just wanted something that represented the how are we here. So this exhibit, uh, part of the proceeds are going to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. I was named a Visionary of the Year candidate, so it worked out perfectly. And then uh, the public can vote on their favorite design, and the winning artist will get a cash prize and then also a donation to the nonprofit of their choice. The exhibit is open now here at the Gall House East Tower. It runs through Derby Weekend. For more information, go to bourbonwithheart.org.